Hey YouTube, Kira Kualia here, bringing you guys my Dudley deck profile for June 2016. Uh, it's a really fun deck, it's got loads a ton of pressure uh, when you're fighting against your opponent, especially when you have Geronimo as your stride on Vanguard, uh, getting all of your rear guards to be able to attack your Vanguard if they don't get any triggers, they really have to throw down their hand to guard against that um, onslaught. So let's go ahead and get started with the deck profile. I run three uh, Dudley Geronimo. Uh, basically, as I stated before, um, it's a counterblast one, and you flip up a copy of Geronimo uh, once per turn. And each time, if you have a heart with Dudley in its card name, uh, when one of your rear guard attacks, uh, it gets plus 5,000. And then at the end of that attack, you put it on the bottom of your deck. And if you have two face up cards in your G zone, uh, the Vanguard also gets the continuous effect in which your units in the back row can attack. So that's three additional attacks, which is really good. You can pressure with Dudley, Mason. Um, to put more uh, rear guards on. Uh, the only downside is they go back to the bottom of the deck after they attack, but they also get plus 5,000. So, like I said, you have amazing pressure, but it's a double edged sword in which you'll lose all your rear guards. So, you want to really go for pressure plays with this card. And I also run one Dirty Picaro, uh, good for uh, Field Swarm. Uh, you don't use lose the units that he calls. All you have to do is Counter Blast 2, uh, flip a card face up and put a card from your hand to the soul. For every face up card in your G zone, you call a unit. So you can fill up the whole field possibly with this card. And also run two Miracle Ways. Uh, would run four. There are only 13 cards in the stride zone uh, right now because I'm missing two of him. And I'd also like to run uh, the one stride from the Fighter's Collection, which calls, uh, which put, makes a unit become. Uh, charging, possibly tech one of those in as well. Uh, but two Miracle Aces for now, uh, basically because uh, it gives power plays when you shuffle something back. Uh, it also gives you your, D or your GB2 for Dudley Jessica. And two Flash Boost, uh, just a simple stride for um, easy on hit pressure. And I also run four of the Stride Enabler, uh, Airy. Uh, to finish up the stride zone, I'd probably also run a uh, Screw You or a Dismal. Uh, Dismal can help to protect the Spike Brother units that you want to survive. And moving on to the uh, main deck, I run four Dudley Jessica. Uh, she's your um, on, you know, Vanguard card that you want most of the time. Her GB2 says all of your units in the front row with Dudley get plus 2,000, and it's a continuous, so always in effect. So she'll be a 13k body even on your opponent's turn, so great defense uh, tactic there. And when you stride a Dudley unit on top of her, you can search your deck for a Dudley uh, unit, call it to rear, and it gets plus 5,000. So it's free search as well, so helps make up uh, for a lot of the minuses that a Spike Brothers deck can give you. And I also run three Dudley Lucifer, just a backup um, Dudley grade three, the best one in my opinion. Uh, it's an 11k, uh, easy to use, limit break, uh, free of counter blasts, which this deck does counter blast a lot, so that's one thing you want to avoid at best if you can. And for the last grade three, one Skydiver, just so you have some rear guard pressure as well. And for the grade twos, I run four Dudley Mason. Uh, it's a vanguard and rearguard effect where you counter blast one, choose a Spike Brother card from your hand, put it into your soul. When this unit attack hits a vanguard, if you have a Spike Brothers vanguard, you may pay the cost. If you do, search your deck for up to one Spike Brother, call it to a rear, and shuffle your deck. So you don't you lose the unit that uh, you call. So good pressure play on grade two ride. Your opponent will either guard this attack or you know face having to take on more units. And I also run four Dudley Douglas. Uh, it's when it's called during the battle phase, you can counter blast one. It gets plus uh, 5,000 until the end of the turn. So if you're using Geronimo and you attack with Mazon hits, before Mazon goes back, you can call a Douglas to the field and get another attack, even if you call it in the back if you're a GB2. And it's another Dudley uh, call with Jessica as well. And to finish up, three high speed Brocky with Geronimo being a plus five and he be also being a plus five. That's 19,000 alone, which is really good pressure just for an individual attack. If you have a bunch of these on the field, you can place them behind Vanguard for Geronimo and just, you know, really go off. It's going to go back to the deck anyway, so might as well use the Soul Blast. And for grade ones, I want to run four Kissmark Alma. Only have two, sadly, at the moment, so putting in two Marylands to fill the spots. But unflipping, because like I said before, you do counterblast a lot with this deck. And I also run three Dudley Daisy. 
Uh, just another Dudley target uh, during the battle phase when it's called. It gets plus 5,000 uh, by counterblasting. Uh, pretty much like Douglas, just in grade 1 form. Easy to call, get plus 5,000 with Jessica. Then with Geronimo, get another plus 5,000, making it 17 on attack. And I also run three stride enablers. Um, Acrobat Verdi, just for helping to stride um, easier. Uh, you can discard your grade threes for the stride cost, but this also helps. You don't want to eat up your hand. It's the last thing you want to do with this deck because your hand is very uh, touchy. It's a good word. Also, two Reckless Express, uh, more additional uh, pressure, just like Brocky was. And to finish off the grade ones, I run two Machine Gun Gloria. So you get some draw power as well if you boost with her. And for grade zeros, I run one Mecha Trainer, uh, best starter for Spike Brothers in my opinion. Counterboss one, retire it, search for a grade one, grab the perfect guard, stride enabler, whatever you need for the situation. And I'm running four Silence Joker. Uh, it's the unflip crit. Uh, all Spike Brother decks should run this card. Um, saves your counter blasts. And two Sonic Breaker. We're going six crit. In this deck, um, and six draw, uh, it's just most consistent. I do not like running stands in this deck, just because you lose your units fast. So draw power helps keep hand. You really don't need big columns in this deck. This column goes for lots of attacks, so that's where you want to look. And draw triggers help just for that situation. And two cheerful links to finish that off. And to end the trigger count, I also run four heal trigger. Uh, Cheer girl tiara is the preferred one for me, not the uh, nightmare inducing other heal. So yeah, that's it for the deck profile. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and Kira Qualia out.